Guys, this might seriously be the best release so far from the House of Toomey, so stay tuned. Yo, what's going on? Hunter here and welcome back to my channel where I upload weekly fragrance content. So if you are new, go ahead, hit the subscribe button down below and also make sure to follow me over on my Instagram page. But today I had the brand new release from the House of Toomey, which has been on a complete roll lately, guys. This is their seventh in their collection and I don't see them slowing down anytime soon. But this is, of course, the new 19 degree. When I first saw pictures of this, I was like, man, I got to get that in the collection. Look how beautiful that bottle is. But of course, we'll save that for a little bit later in the presentation. But before we do, I do want to shout out So Avant Garde for sending this out for review. They are actually the distributor for Toomey, as well as many other designer and niche brands. And of course, I had to hook you guys up with the code. Use code FRAGHUNTER20. That's going to save you 20% off of everything on the website, including, of course, the brand new 19 degree. So let's go over some information. Now, this was obviously launched in 2023. It just came out this month. As far as the retail price on, the, I believe, the only size it comes in, which is the 100 ml, is going to run you $175. However, when you use my code, you can get it for around $140 with that 20% off, which in my opinion, obviously we'll talk if that's worth it a little bit later, but man, this is gonna be one you're gonna wanna absolutely consider. The concentration is actually an extract de parfum, so that means it is the highest of perfume oils that you can use in a fragrance, so it's extremely concentrated. Tumi also released Awaken Distill, which was an extract de parfum version of the original Awaken, so the last two releases have been extract de parfum, so that does make it a little bit more worth it for that price tag. For the perfumer, I did do some research, but I wasn't able to find out the nose behind 19 degrees. So maybe that information will come out a little bit later. Now with all that out of the way, let's look at the packaging and presentation you get with 19 degree now. Now take a look at the box. It comes in this nice matte black finish. Of course you have to me 19 degree, extract the puff from the 100 ml, nothing on the top, nothing on the sides. On the bottom, you will have your barcode and batch code to authenticate your product and see when it was produced. And then on the back, you have some of your ingredients. Then you are actually greeted with, when you open the top, a nice kind of a Tumi authenticity card right there. But at the end of the day, nothing too outstanding about the box presentation. However, the bottle is absolutely stunning. As it speaks for yourself, guys, look at this bottle. I love the design of it. If you didn't know, 19 degree is actually, I believe, Tumi's high end luggage um, collection and it has the same exact pattern as this bottle which is awesome of course it is actually in this kind of matte finish which feels nice in the hand on the side you do have to me embossed in the bottle right there on top nothing on the bottom you do have your sticker with some of your information and batch code nothing on the back but what makes these to me bottles stand apart is actually is a lock mechanism similar to what you find on their luggage so you unlock it and you lift up the cap like so nothing in the cap then you have that beautiful kind of burgundy atomizer and then obviously you click it or black into place and then lock it and it is very secure and this is a very heavy bottle in the top you have bergamot saffron and thyme in the mid you have black raspberry suede and birch water and in the base you have leather sandalwood and black musk and this will be classified as a citrus woody so let's spray this and test out these atomizers very nice distribution on that sprays a ton of juice so Let's go ahead and remind myself of this brand new 19 degrees opening. Oh my goodness, guys. I absolutely love this fragrance. And I mean it when I said this is my favorite release from Toomey thus far. This stuff is outstanding. Right away in the opening, you're gonna be blasted with this mouthwatering bergamot, along with this very herbal kind of aromatic time note as well, with a pinch of the spicy saffron in the backbone of the opening. Just an outstanding, very unique fragrance from my experience, guys. I haven't smelled anything quite like this one. And that's what I will respect about Toomey as well. They do have some patents and they always use notes that aren't really found in any other fragrances. They do want to stand out, which is a great thing in this world of fragrance when everything is almost kind of redundant nowadays. A lot of fragrances are copying each other. This one, though, stands on its own. That opening is just very, very captivating. I can see people going into like a department store spraying this one and falling in love with it just from that opening alone. But the opening isn't even necessarily the best part because once you get into the mid is where things change up a little bit. 
because in the mid you're gonna find two notes that I haven't really seen in any other fragrance and that is of course that black raspberry note which brings a very fruity kind of sweet punch to the composition along with the birch water which brings kind of a woodiness a slight smokiness like very very slight smokiness along with these aquatic undertones as well I'm not really picking up on that suede, thank goodness. I'm not a fan of the note of suede at all, actually. I must prefer leather, which you will find in the base. But in the mid, is very fruity, slightly woody and aquatic is what I'm getting from this scent profile. That's an absolute crowd pleaser so far as it develops. I can see people absolutely breaking their neck when you're wearing this fragrance. That is how good this one comes across. And then finally, once you make your way into the base, which does take quite some time, of course, being an extrait de parfum, the opening and the mid are gonna last a lot longer than usual. But once you finally get there, you are gonna get greeted with this kind of shiny leather. It's not really like an animalic leather. It's not really like a dark, rugged leather. It kind of has a shininess about it almost like a brand new car, just polished leather, like just got clean, that's the vibe I get, as well as this black musk. So think of the note of white musk, comes across like very clean, kind of soapy, airy, fresh, but this one is the exact opposite, black musk, which is another note I've never seen in any other fragrance. Of course, you have black raspberry, birch water, and black musk, which is so unique and distinctive, but the black musk isn't really animalic, it's just kind of more earthy and dark is the vibe I get. And that sandalwood, I'm getting no sandalwood at all, which isn't a bad thing either. If you know me, I'm not the biggest fan of sandalwood, so I can go without it. But in the base, you are just left with a shiny leather and this kind of dark, earthy musk note. Yeah, just an outstanding scent profile, guys. And when I was smelling this one, I was trying to think if there's anything that reminds me of 19 Degree. And I honestly could not think of one other fragrance that gave me the same exact vibe as this one that's fruity, fresh, herbal, aromatic, of course, leathery, musky, fruity. There's a lot going on. It's a very complex composition as well. Just a ton going on that changes and develops beautifully on skin, especially. I know that 175 price tag for a designer fragrance is pretty expensive, especially even being an extract to pop foam, which is obviously nice and it kind of makes it more worth it. However, though, at that 140 price tag, I think this one is much more reasonable and if you're shopping around within that price range this is one you're absolutely going to want to check out especially if you want to stand out amongst other guys now for the best seasons to wear 19 degree this one is extremely across the board versatile you can wear this one in the fall and winter because of the woodiness of course the spicy a slight spiciness the fruitiness of course as well and that leather perfectly in the cold weather but you can also easily pull it off in the spring and summer because of that bright kind of mouth-watering citrus bergamot along with the green aromatic time note as well that makes it just work across the board all seasons. It kind of transitions into the best occasions. You can wear this one dressed down to a casual event or going to work, the office, or you can wear it dressed up to like a dinner date because I think this one is extremely sexy because of that black raspberry note. And you can also just wear it dressed up, maybe going to like a wedding, a gala, something like that in more of a formal attire. This one just works. You spray this one on, and you're gonna be good across the board, all occasions, all seasons. Which makes that price tag even more reasonable if it's a fragrance that you can wear all year round. And I also think this would be a very sexy signature scent to be known for. For gender, I think this one is very, very masculine smelling, guys. There's nothing feminine about it at all. And I also think it is targeted towards men rather than unisex. I know it's definitely not a woman's fragrance, of course, but yeah, definitely more on the masculine leaning. Like I said, it's very kind of um, almost like that bad boy kind of vibe is what I get from this whole scent profile. So if that's what you're looking for, without a doubt, check out 19 Degree. Because at the end of the day, it's hard to find a fragrance that actually gets all of those notes checked off. Versatile, sexy, all occasions, very masculine smelling. This is probably one of the best releases this year, to be honest. And you're also in luck because if you're a teenager watching this one, you can wear this one. And also if you're an older guy watching this one, you can wear this as well. Very versatile in all categories. I mean, anyone can actually wear this. Like I said, you can wear this one to high school, you can wear this one to college, you can wear this one to the office. You can wear this one if you're a boss CEO. It's not just targeted towards like a small audience of people. It's literally targeted towards anybody that is in the market for this kind of fragrance. And wrapping things off on the performance wear, this one absolutely shines so much, guys. This is absolutely above average. Above average for me is over eight hours of longevity. I easily got around 12 hours on skin 
Of course, it's not gonna project for 12 hours. That's unknown of. However, you are still gonna be able to detect it on your skin up to that 12 hour mark, at least on my skin. Of course, skin chemistry matters and changes amongst all people. But at the end of the day, you are still gonna get above average, easily last you like a whole eight hour work shift without any hesitation. As far as the projection, a lot of times when it comes to extract to parfums, they project a little bit less than like an eau de parfum or eau de toilette or even an eau de cologne. Because say you have an eau de cologne that projects heavy, I mean like heavy for the first like 30 minutes, then it dies down to a skin scent. And extract to parfum most of the time, not all the time, will project not as heavy as an eau de cologne, but will project for maybe like two hours up to maybe three hours. But this one though project very, very, almost beast modely. Around like the two hours up to that three hour mark, which is absolutely outstanding. So people will notice you, people will recognize you. Like I said, people will probably be breaking their neck when you walk by them. Like, whoa, who was that dude that just passed me that smells as that good? So if you're looking for compliments, you're looking for a beast mode fragrance, you're in that price range, you wanna stand out, you wanna be unique, this is almost a no brainer in my opinion. Just hats off to Toomey for creating 19 degree. I think for me, it definitely passed up Atlas as my favorite along with Distilled or Awakened Distilled. This one is by far my favorite now and I'm gonna be wearing this one a ton actually guys. I love the scent profile. I love the wearing experience. I love the attention it gets. And yeah, it will be a staple in my rotation for sure. But that's gonna do it for my review. Let me know down below if you had actually tried anything from the house of Toomey. I know they have been getting more talk lately, more recognition, which is a great thing because like I said, they are trying to stand out and they're doing a great job at it. But besides that, leave a like, subscribe below if you haven't already. And of course, I'll see all of you back here in my next upload. Take care, everybody.